This is the Intelligence Community Comprehensive National Cybersecurity Initiative Data Center in Utah. It's codenamed Bumblehive or ICCNCI Data Center. It is located at Camp William National Guard Post near Saratoga Springs in Utah. It is a 1 million square foot surveillance facility, home of the NSA, home of 100,000 square feet of raised floor server rooms. It has multiple power substations and its own chilled water cooling plants. These buildings are rows of server racks holding tens of thousands of servers. It is the NSA's global surveillance vault. It houses everything from your phone call records, emails, instant messages, banking history, locations on movement, to satellite imagery, signal intercepts, and raw sensor data from military surveillance platforms. The NSA collects in bulk, no filter, just through the cables via the telecom companies that it has sweetheart arrangements with, like AT&T and Verizon. It uses internet backbone interception through programs like Upstream and tech company Backdoors, as the Snowden leaks revealed. All of that data flows into the NSA's processing network and nothing ever gets deleted. The Utah data center exists to store petabytes to exabytes of raw data permanently in case an analyst wants to search through your underwear drawer later. Although specific numbers are classified, there is in the range of 30,000 to 50,000 servers in there, plus a vast array of storage drives, hundreds of thousands of spinning disks and SSDs. Those drives alone draw enormous power and generate heat. These cooling systems have to run 24 seven, year round, forever. That is incompatible with life on a finite planet. This thing eats and drains so much power and water. Cooling this facility can take up to 1.7 million gallons of fresh drinking water on a hot summer's day in the middle of Utah. These chillers have to run continuously. Downtime is unacceptable for an intelligence operation. Industrial scale plant in the middle of the desert in the name of intelligence that wastes gallons of fresh drinking water to keep all your private emails on a government hard drive. The environmental critique of AI is highly visible in the mainstream media and socially sanctioned by the West. It targets your consumer level behavior, children using it to write essays or creatives using it to produce art safe to lecture individuals or even a corporation about their AI use. Tech rivals are pointing at each other's AI footprint to slow competition and it frames the problem like a choice. Like if you stop using AI, that will solve the climate crisis. Did it work with plastic recycling? But nobody wants to discuss the fact that this thing is designed to scale. It gets bigger every year as we run out of water and it's already using the same amount of electricity as a mid-sized city, and it's entirely paid for by the US taxpayer.